Technological advances in the last two centuries have laid the foundation for our modern society. Similarly, the development of new technology is going to shape our future. But in the hundreds of new inventions, some leave a far-reaching impact, and most of them are tied to finance. Hello and welcome to Modern Day Geeks. Today, we are going to talk about innovative financial technology and how they have changed the world. So, let us begin. The term fintech became popular in the 21st century, but it has actually influenced how people handle money for well over a century. The fintech has roots in the late 19th century when money could be transferred using telegrams and Morse code, though this certainly wouldn't excite many investors today. Today, we associate fintech with cryptocurrencies and startup banks. Fintech can be divided into different eras. Each time a unique technology came out, it revolutionized the industry. Okay, so let's start with Fintech 1.0. This was from 1886 to 1967. Building the infrastructure necessary to support transactional financial services was the goal of this phase. The first electronic fund transfer system was made possible by the Transatlantic Cable, 1866, and Fedwire, 1918, in the USA, which combined telegraph and Morse code technology, as mentioned earlier. It was simple by today's standards, but at a period where transportation and infrastructure were increasing, the capacity to conduct financial transactions over a greater distance was revolutionary. The second phase came from 1967 to 2008. The first automated teller machine, ATM, was installed by Barclays in 1967, marking the beginning of this phase, which was characterized by the transition from analog to digital methods of handling financial transactions. NASDAQ, the world's first computerized stock market, and SWIFT, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications, a communication system between financial institutions that facilitates massive volumes of cross-border transfers, both came into existence in the 1970s. The 1980s marked the continuation of this era, which was categorized by the proliferation of bank maintenance computers. And throughout the 1980s, there was a rise in online banking, which led to a change in how people viewed financial institutions. This led to a change in how people do business, which in turn caused the online revolution. In the 1990s, the initial steps were taken toward the development of digital banking, and clients who were linked to the internet began to manage their money in a variety of ways. The year 1998 saw the introduction of PayPal, which was a precursor to the new payment methods that would emerge as more and more businesses move their operations online. Everything appeared to be going well with the economy, and this led to then-Chancellor of the United Kingdom, Gordon Brown, to declare that boom and bust was a thing of the past. However, this particular collapse, which was the global financial crisis of 2008, was the event that pulled the curtain down from this period of fintech and was the impetus for the innovation that would be seen throughout the era that followed. We are currently living through the third era, which started following the credit crunch of 2008. In the aftermath of the financial crisis, a lack of faith in banks, coupled with changes in regulatory policy, had made the market more accessible to new players. In 2019, Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency ever created. And since then, others based on blockchain technology have followed in its footsteps. The proliferation of smartphones has resulted in a shift towards using mobile devices as the primary mechanism by which individuals access the internet and other financial services. A hunger for innovation among investors and consumers is fueling a wave of new products and services. And the era we are living in has become the age of the startup company. Even well-established financial institutions are beginning to behave and brand themselves in a manner similar to that of startup companies. And this shift away from the well-established financial institutions that dominated the FinTech 2.0 era has been the distinguishing characteristic of FinTech 3.0. As a result of this, new technologies have become available, which make it simpler to develop digital banking solutions by utilizing open banking. Open banking provides third-party businesses with access to consumers' financial information. Banking as a service BAAS, platforms such as Treaser and Solaris Bank have made it simpler for banks and other financial institutions to move away from complicated legacy systems. This has made it possible for these institutions to launch neobanks, which are digital banks that have emerged with the goal of enhancing the consumer experience. Well, let's talk a little about the latest technologies that are looking to shape our future. AI is on the top of that list. According to estimations, artificial intelligence, AI, has the potential to add up to $1 trillion in value to the worldwide banking sector annually. 
The adoption of an AI-first approach by banks and other financial institutions is predicted to improve their ability to fend off the invasion of growing technology companies. Finally, cloud computing is going to liberate all financial service players. According to studies, the top 500 global corporations EBITDA would exceed $1 trillion by 2030 due to cloud technology. According to our research, efficient use of the cloud can reduce downtime for migrated applications by 57%, increase infrastructure cost efficiency by 29%, and increase the efficiency of migrated application development and maintenance by 38%. Cloud-based security procedures and controls that are incorporated and automated can also enhance platform integrity. A primary example of a cloud-based feature that lowers technical risks through a consistent, cross-environment technology stack is development, security, and operations, DevSecOps, or the notion that security is a responsibility that can be executed across a company and staff with the expansion of its development and operations. As time goes on, we will get to see more and more of these innovative technologies being integrated into our system. We've already seen that cryptocurrencies are gaining traction, and some countries like El Salvador have even accepted them as currency. Only time will tell how far these technologies are integrated into our system. But for now, it looks like the future belongs to fintech, and anyone who ignores this reality is just fooling themselves. That's it for the video. We hope you liked and enjoyed the video please let us know by pressing the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we'll see you guys in the next one.